This is a movie about a lot of things. It's about being a teenager and not knowing what to do. It's about falling in love, being rejected and trying to find that person. It's about iron sharpening iron. It's about growing up. It's about wanting to preserve the status quo while the world rapidly moves around us. It's about the importance of placing value in the fruits of our labor. And finally, it's unironically about country roads. I think it's such an interesting movie as its narrative is basically about nothing. It's like a slice of life, but the writing's clever enough that it introduces all of these elements of a story, all culminating into a comprehensible romantic narrative by the end of the film. The whole movie centers around this character character, Shizuku, and I don't want to spoil too much of it because if you haven't watched Whisper of the Heart yet, I want this to be as spoiler free an experience for you just as it was for me when I watched it as a young teenager. And even though I'm into my early adulthood now, so many of the themes present in this movie I reckon still resonate with older audiences. The reason why I say this is because no matter where we are at in life, we have all been Shizuku at some point. Point. We've all been comfortable in our cycle of eat, go to school, do something fun at home, sleep, repeat, and that routine certainly does follow us to the end of our lives as we enter employment. All of us have a sense in which we desire a deeper meaning, we long for something greater than ourselves, and in our own lives, we want our work and what we're doing to actually matter. Though there's a deeper reason as to why I so deeply resonate with Shizuku, and it's because I've also been in her position trying to make something for myself to find that thing that God's willed for me to do. And for a long time, I was wondering what is it that I can make? What is the thing that's going to be the fruits of my labor? And for a long time, as I was nearing the end of high school, I was just stabbing all over the place to try find out exactly what that was. Was it in game design? Was it in coding? Was it in virtual reality work? And eventually I was led by God to do this YouTube thing. So I'm incredibly thankful to God because he's led me to this point to still be wise by having a backup plan if YouTube doesn't work out. And he's led me to university where I'm studying how to be a teacher. But at the same time, I still thank him that he's brought me to this channel because it's something I've actually built and created and has meaning because it's all ultimately in order to glorify him. So let this be an encouragement to you as well if you are like Shizuku and Seiji the male lead because what's that thing that God's leading you to work in? What's your novel that you're going to write or a piece of wood that you're going to carve or musical instrument that you're going to play? Ultimately, God is gracious and loving that he will prompt us and guide us to the place where he wants us to be according to his will. So whatever that is for you, I want to encourage you in continuing to seek God's will for your life in that area. Though I will caveat this by also saying that God's will could be for you to continue to excel at your day job to the point that you can be a witness to your non-Christian friends and co-workers, which is why I still feel led to incorporate some level of teaching kids in my work because we see that we need way more Christians in education and in the public system as well. We need Christians in offices and in finance and in accounting and any other day job that's out there because God's called us to be permeating through every aspect and element of society so long as we're not sinning. So I do suggest you think about it because are we like Shizuku who is wanting to be comfortable in our status quo? Do we have any fruits of our labor for which we can present to God? Do we have people around our lives who are willing to be obedient to the calling for us to be like iron sharpening iron? It is in all of these things that God wants for us to continue to be sensitive what he wills for us. I do want to take a brief side note here because the dad in this movie is absolutely based and all of the other male characters are as well. He isn't the incompetent bumbling fool that we often see in western media and he's actually present in his daughter's lives. This has been my big annoyance with the west because so many of the shows and movies we watch portray men as not actually being responsible and they're all incapable of being mature. They don't provide any useful insight and are relegated to comic relief characters but we see Seiji, the male lead, being relatively emotional and it makes sense because he's still a kid. He puts his passions on full display, he runs his mouth and that's fine. It's expected because he's still in middle school but he also knows how to act like a gentleman. Then we observe the older men in this movie who are calm and reserved and they don't engage in outbursts of emotion and I think the scene where Shizuku's dad gives her a stern talking to is still one of the most powerful scenes in this movie because he's in control of his emotions and he doesn't raise his voice and flaps his arms about but it's out of a genuine desire to understand his daughter that he calmly speaks to her. As with Seiji's grandpa he's really chill but again he doesn't have an extraneous display of feelings which I just wanted to appreciate about this anime that the men act like men rather than as children. So 
as I said at the start, there's just so many elements of this movie which I absolutely adore and it's still in my top 3 anime and one of the only 4 anime I've rated at a 10 out of 10 on my anime list because of the impact it had on me as a young teen and I still think it's the best Studio Ghibli movie despite it not being directed by Miyazaki and when I found out the director for this movie, Yoshifumi Kondo, had actually died shortly after the film's release, it was really sad for me because it's such a shame we didn't get to see more of his work. I want to mention as well how this movie is also the reason why Country Roads is still one of my favorite songs and even though I'm a zoomer it's a song that I feel so terribly nostalgic for and I have this movie to thank for it. This movie's animation also still really stands up well to today's standards and it is mainly in its messaging of growing up and finding that work that you can do that I'm happy to say Whisper of the Heart is a Christian anime. I've actually done a few movie reviews recently and if you'd like to watch them you can find out why these movies here are actually Christian anime.